Hi, I'm Alex Aaron, a technician at Seek Alarm, and today we'll be reviewing the wiring for the SK1011 SDQ indoor keypad. Welcome to our instructional video. We are glad you are here. We encourage you to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and to click the bell to receive notifications of new Seek Alarm user and installer videos. In this video, we'll go over the following. Overview, wiring. The product we're covering in this video is the SK1011 SDQ, a single gang indoor keypad. Some significant features of the keypad include 12 to 24 volt AC or DC operation, 1,000 users, one form C relay, output time adjustable from 1 to 99,999 seconds or toggle, one egress input. Let's start with the door strike hookup, which would be a fail secure setup. Note the diagram here before we show the steps. Connect the positive terminal and the common to the positive terminal of the power supply. Connect the negative terminal to the negative of the power supply. Connect the negative of the strike back to the negative of the power supply. Connect the normally open of the output to the positive side of the strike. Now we will test the unit. Next we'll hook up a maglock which would be a fail safe setup. Note the diagram here before we show the steps. Next we'll hook up a maglock fail safe. Connect the positive terminal and the output common to the positive of the power supply. Connect the negative terminal to the negative of the power supply. Connect the negative side of the maglock back to the negative of the power supply. Connect the output normally closed terminal to the positive side of the mag lock. Now we will test the unit. Next, we'll show a contact closure. Note the diagram here before we show the steps. Next, we'll wire a contact closure hookup. Connect the positive terminal to the positive of the power supply. Connect the negative terminal to the negative of the power supply. Connect the output common to the ground of the device. Connect the output normally open to the open of the device. Now we will test the unit. Next we'll hook up the egress button. Note the diagram here before we show the steps. To wire an RTE button, request to exit to the egress terminal. Connect the negative terminal to the request to exit button's common. Connect the keypad's EG in to the 
Request exit buttons normally open. Press the button and the relay will trigger. This has been the wiring for the Enforcer SK-1011 SDQ keypad from Seek Alarm. We thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.